Can you understand why a man threw an egg at you? <laughs> Hang on. Just give your bloody brain a chance. <laughs> <laughs> what in the name of all that's holy were you thinking when you said, let's put a bus lane on the M4? <laughs> How many people get annoyed at that when they come down to three and they oh, come down to two? Come on, meeting. put your hands up. You know they are. They are. And they John, get bloody well pissed sit off with down. <laughs> sit down. Right. Hey, they're cheering for me, not you. All right, fair enough. You only had one jack. I had one house I owned and one car. Hey, that's an area I wouldn't get into. Two houses <laughs> with that place. Hey, well, well, that is the John. reality. That John. is the reality. You John. don't want to face the facts, do you? Lord I knew Prescott. I'd get that from you, ruddy motorist. <laughs> Sit down. My big brothers were Keith Moon, Jim Morrison, <laughs> Jimi Hendrix. I can go right down the list of everybody that died at 27 years old. And they were all friends of yours. Yeah, and I was trying to keep up with them. I was the little brother trying to keep up with them, and I mean, it the, almost got me. Who was the biggest? Oh, no, no, nobody can compete with Keith Moon. So, no, did you ever go on one of Keith's benders? Yeah, yeah. We had a drinking club called the Hollywood Vampires, and it was uh, Bernie Toppin and uh, Harry Nielsen. And, you they know, don't Keith. sound like big drinkers. And, oh, no, very, very big. They, what, what, this Bernie? was like last man standing kind of drinking. Really? Know? Yeah. Every night, though. Every single night. And, and really, the only excuse was we wanted to see what Keith was going to wear. <laughs> Because one night he would be Hitler, one night he would be the Queen. But I'm talking about full out. Yeah. <laughs> you know. But, but he enjoyed that so much. He enjoyed being the class clown more than anybody in the world. And everybody loved him. There was nobody, that, every single person in rock and roll loved Keith Moon. That's true. Did you ever feel the need, though, to hide from him? I had to. Because it would get to a point where I'd go, somebody would say, Keith is in town. And I'd go, Jeez, you know, <laughs> I got to I have two shows this week. I got to make sure he doesn't find us. But I mean, everybody knew that he was either going to go to your house or Harry's house or somebody's house. And uh, and that was the end of that week. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you one. What? Stand up again. None of this is going to make the show. Yes, he it does is. this thing. It'll make your it's Twitter. It's like isometrics crossed with movement of plots. Is this just basically punching each other in the face? No, 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 oh, no. Oh, is no. it slapping? No, yeah, no, it's not God. slapping. <laughs> That's not an exercise. It is. It's not. Right, okay. <laughs> right. Put your hands outside mine, right? Outside. Then you're going to clap and I'm going to vary the resistance. So you, is, is this a known exercise? Or is it... Okay, go, go You ahead. sure this isn't just something yes. you do with Jane? Just clap your hands together. Right. Well, this isn't very interesting. No. <laughs> but you're getting... Now I'm going to move my hands up. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you're like, oh, you're like up, high up. Have your head. Marines, oh, if you beat me, come and kill him. Go on, you can do one more. Go on. What? It's not difficult. I'm massively strong. You are not. The... I'm right. hugely strong. <laughs> His nipples are wet. <laughs> but it's hard. You see what I'm saying? You don't need weights. Well, I haven't got any. I know. Well, you well I've got some here. here. I'm sweating quite badly now. You are sweating, aren't you? <laughs> well, imagine, he makes me do... He's a big guy. He's very muscly. He's got very, very soft hands. <laughs> very nice soft hands. And uh, while I'm doing the press-up, it'll hold my head down. <laughs> which, <laughs> which took me back to my honeymoon. <laughs> Have you got one of those Pilates? No, what's it called? <laughs> power power plate. plates. That yes! Is... What a stupid thing! Yes! Because if you stand on it, it shakes your but brains out. Well, I know a bloke who reckons he got fit doing that by just standing it while he's playing his yeah. Xbox. <laughs> I met somebody who said, you just get one of those, if you stand on it, you just become incredibly toned. But you know what, it is good for you, um, for warming up and warming down, Jeremy. You really are taking this seriously, aren't you? Well, you've got to get the lactic acid out of your muscles. <laughs> Am I right, girls? Yeah! That was the worst response I've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> who said yeah? Two girls. Was it you? You said yeah. Have you, you, you got any lactic that? acid? <laughs> she doesn't even know whether she's got <laughs> lactic acid. Why am I still out of breath? Because you're an old... <laughs> Bloke in his <laughs> who drives everywhere when he could walk. I can tell you don't like cars because I've got a list of your past car history. <laughs> yeah. MG Metro. Yeah, that's my first car. Yeah. Cavalier. That was James's first car, a Cavalier was, L. <laughs> mine was a hatchback, so I could sleep in it. Which hatchback? Classic. Was it the 205? I have no idea. It was red. <laughs> that, car, that, that car, what was brilliant about that one was that... Which uh, one? The, the Cavalier was the starter went on it. 
So I had to have a piece of wood and a brick that I carried with me all the time, because, you know, I could fix it, but, you know, it's trouble, isn't it? Uh, so I, what I used to do, I had to put the bit of wood and smash it. On the starter mode? Yeah, to get yeah, yeah. it started. But the trouble was, though, at the time, I was, you know, I was quite young and I kept getting stopped by the cops. So every time they stopped me, they'd look in the car and see a brick and a bit of wood, <laughs> and they'd go, are you burgling? And I'd go, no, no, it's a look. And I'd have to demonstrate how I started the car. They'd take my details, and then they'd go, no, that's fine, off you go. Then I'd have to get the brick and the wood out again and smash it and then drive off. Be allowed so, to set off. Because yeah. yeah. all these cars met with terrible ends, didn't they? <laughs> yes. Largely. Yeah, the... the um, <laughs> Uh, what happened to the, the MG, that, uh, I, I opened, well, well, I smashed the, the, winch, uh, the mirror, what's that thing? Mirror, yeah. off the side, side mirror thing. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm not working a part shop, do I? <laughs> but, yeah, so yeah, the, the mirror, the, uh, uh, smashed that off, and then I opened the door, because I didn't look to see what was coming, and an illegal minicab took the door off. <laughs> Literally just took the door off, but because he wasn't licensed, he panicked and I went just go and he went so I just got the door and just jammed it back on and then tied it with string well that's what they did in the factory <laughs> in the, they? Well, yeah, <laughs> and then so it then meant I had to get in through the passenger side and I always had to have the window open a little bit so and everything on it was dented and why did uh, you have to have the window open a little bit because I had to tie the string to keep the door shut. I see. Because it had all been completely got mangled. You now. Got you now. So, yeah, so that one, that got smashed. Uh, I had an Astra van. I smashed that into a... It scrapes one of them bollard things. Smashed yeah. that. Uh, Cavalier? Uh, Cavalier did all right. It was a bit dented, but... A bit dented. Did, uh, the 205, that, was that a rabbit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit a rabbit and got into a bit of a swerve. <laughs> And then the thing started to weave, and I thought, oh, I'll just go with it. And it, it hit the barrier at the side, and just sort of, it was going sideways, and it kind of went up a bit, and the front of the car came off. And I was facing the wrong way down the motor, and I thought, that's not good. <laughs> and then and I thought, clever, clever, you see. I thought, I'll turn the, I'll turn the lights on, so on, it's dark, obviously. Oncoming vehicles will see that there's a car in the road. And I, and I, tur and I went, all right, I turned on. And then I realised that the battery in most of the car was about 500 metres away. <laughs> well, that's not good, so I legged it. Have you ever sold a car? No, never. Never? Never. They've just smashed to pieces? They literally, I either run them into the ground or I just smash them to pieces. <laughs> To be honest, your first attempt was really very poor indeed. Anybody want to see the clip? Yeah. yeah. Let's have a look. Here it is. This is the first one. Ready? Oh, yeah, now, watch this, right? <laughs> now, you see... <laughs> yeah. 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 Never. Yeah. We've never had yeah. that before. Can I, <laughs> can I just point out, bikes only go one way. Well, there was. I just uh, after that, I just kept going. <laughs> well, yes, you genuinely, genuinely got it just in the wrong. I d no, no. You know what it was? I, I put it in. It was in reverse, mm -hmm. and because he said, "Right, re reverse up onto the line, put it in there like that." I thought, "Right, okay." And I thought, "I better put that into first gear." And I was oh, blah blah blah, and then uh, you forgot. And I forgot. Yeah. Uh -huh. In fact, at one point, the Stig freaked me out, right? Because the Stig and one of the producers, right? I'm sat in the car, ready to go. And I look across, and the Stig stood there with his arms folded, looking at the tyre, going... <laughs> <laughs> he does that to unnerve people. <laughs> he does. <laughs> when you left Vancouver and you went to Los Angeles, you had a Jeep. Even that went wrong. Yeah, yeah. I did, yeah. When I moved to Los Angeles, uh, and I drove, a, I had an old uh, Jeep YJ. I drove it there. I got there. I parked it. I went into my, my seedy, uh, uh, just STD-infested hotel room and, uh, and got in there, put my stuff down, came back out, and, and, and the car was gone. It was stolen. Well, that quickly? That quickly. Yeah. I think that people have, like, there's, like, a, a series of people with walkie-talkies in LA that just announced that a dumb Canadian's driving through. Let's get him. Uh, so they did, and they, my Jeep was gone. And I, I actually went walking down the block um, a couple hours later, and I found it. 
they had stolen the doors. I don't know why, but that's what they wanted. They wanted the doors. They stole my doors. So I drove around for six months in Los Angeles without uh, any doors <laughs> at all. And it would be terrible because it would be, you know, in the winter time, it would just be pouring rain. And I would be driving to these auditions, you know, and just tidal waves of water would come through my Jeep before I get there. So, you know, I'd just show up as like, you know, the guy like in a t-shirt looking like I'm, you know, just nipples akimbo. You know, <laughs> what am I doing here? I, yeah, terrible. Terrible. Well, but you could audition for a submarine movie. That's yeah. about, yeah. Yeah, do... and I, I couldn't, I, I went looking around, to, to, I was going to try to buy new doors, but I couldn't afford them. And then about six months later, I got a job, and I found a place that sold um, used auto parts. And I found some doors that, that looked very much like the doors that were stolen from my car. <laughs> so I bought them, and I think what I did was I bought my own doors. <laughs> I've just thought of another thing that you've got going for you. You're not even American, are you? No, no. I mean, actually, Canadian, although... Yeah. You... yeah. Is there a Canadian you. here? Wow. Hi. How are you? Oh, I know you. Yeah. <laughs> You're the other one. You live in Hollywood now? Uh, yeah, I do, yeah. So I'm guessing there's a Toyota Prius on the drive. Uh, I no, I, I did. I used to have one. Um, of course you did. Yeah, I'm I'm a bit of a greenie. You know, I like I like uh, I like green cars. So I drive an electric car. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Somebody went. Ee. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna come and unplug it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Is it a is it the Nissan Leaf? It's the Leaf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just Leaf. The Prius that you had, because I was talking last week to uh, Matt LeBlanc about yeah. the American need to modify every car you buy, yeah. change it. Yeah. Did you modify your Prius? Well, I didn't, you know, slam it and put hydraulics in. I wasn't like, you know, I, I, put, uh, I put an 800 pound uh, lithium ion battery in the back, which uh, I found out later was just wildly dangerous. <laughs> yeah. You did it? Yeah, I had a, a guy. Oh, had a guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he could make it an electric car. So it's entirely electric? Yes, but like the, the ass of the bumper dragged on the cement as you drove around. I mean, it really was the law of diminishing returns for right from the get-go. So that's gone now. <coughs> Excuse me, I'll have a cold. That's, that's all right. Um, so the, the leaf, does it work there? Because I'm fascinated. If somebody rings you up from Vegas and says, hey, come over, it's going to take you two days to get there. <laughs> but no, you, don't, you don't drive that car far. I mean, it goes 100 miles on a charge, so you just you drive it you know, in and around you know, the city. And so great. what do you do if you have to go to Las Vegas? Um, if you have to go to Las Vegas, you, you, you get on uh, an airplane. <laughs> but if you're green, aren't you a fan of hydrogen then? Um, no, I don't think it's... I don't, I'm personally not big on driving around a bomb. Um, you can store it on graphite. I know, but I don't trust the whole thing. And it's also not as green as, I think, electric. I'm, I'm more behind electric cars. I just think but it would be electric, it, just that the electricity would come from hydrogen bubbling through yes, the membrane. It would come, be... come from a, you know, a, a car that also dubs as a supernova. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, but petrol's quite explosive. Yes, that's true. I mean, I'm driving home, but, I think I've got a bomb in the back. But contrary to popular belief, it will not blow up no matter what. I mean, you, it can, would. you, you can, can shoot probably, a car. Yeah, you could probably that throw is a lit match into the gas tank. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> but probably could, yeah. I'm going to do that afterwards to James's Fiat Panda just to see if yeah. it blows <laughs> up. I'll be around afterwards. Yeah. Now, you're a big fan, I understand, of, well, Britain, actually, but British comedy in particular. Is that right? Correct. Which, Benny Hill, because that's always popular in Germany, or more up-to-date? What's your favourite British comedies that you... At, at the moment, I'm quite into uh, How Not to Live Your Life. Harry Enfield's another one of your... Yes. Yeah, no, he does a very good German uh, impersonation, so... Which one? Oh. Jürgen the German, do you know? Because he's all went, how... Uh, I'm struggling now, what did he say? I... <laughs> you say that I could give it a, a try because... Well, you got the accent right, is it? I... <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was getting at. So he's at this bus station, I don't know, but if you've if you got time... Yeah! He's, he's at this bus station and... Uh, there's this Englishman, very smart, you know, very nicely dressed, and there comes the German with the funny jacket and the white socks. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he comes to this bus station and he's wondering why the bus is late. So he's, I'm Jürgen, why is the bus not on time? And then he, he goes a bit crazy and in the end he's going absolutely crazy. This would have never happened under the German control, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Even Mussolini made the buses run on time, you know. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's very good. Does it extend to British music as well, your love affair of here, or not? No, I like David Hasselhoff only, so... Uh, Hassel <laughs> and the Scorpions. And the Scorpions. I can't whistle. I'm That's, I, I was so confused, you know, obviously, racing now for an, for an English team. Um, everyone thought I'm a huge David Hasselhoff fan. <laughs> Apparently, that's what all the British people think about the Germans, that we love David the Hasselhoff, Benny Hill, and... Yeah. The, the Scorpions. Scorpions. I mean, we know the Hoff. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's not my generation anymore, you know. I'm not looking for freedom anymore, so... <laughs> it's a Baywatch thing. So, is it the Beatles? Yeah, I love the Beatles. Really? Yes, yeah. It's a shame there's no new stuff coming, but I guess... <laughs> There's not much we can do, so... No, one of them's yeah. gone. Uh, now, cars, you rode cars. I gather your first car wasn't actually a car at all. It was a, uh, what's the word, moped. Yes. Obviously, I was not old enough to, to have the driver's license yet. What, the actual yeah. car with four wheels and I had The first one I had was a BMW X3. Was oh, the first car. ghastly. <laughs> it was not so bad. The only difficulty was to park, you know, well, it, to... And it looked like a genital wart. <laughs> and it couldn't go off-road. It was horrible, the X3. Is that why you It was left... quite cool, you know, I was 18. Mm. It was quite cool. Mm, I only like having herpes. <laughs> it's not cool to have herpes. To say what was your first car? My first car? Yeah. Ford Cortina, 1600E. <laughs> you weren't even no herpes. a fetus, were No that? herpes. No herpes, I guess. No, it was superb. It had because a wooden... you, you were not, you know, it wasn't really bling, so you were not pulling the chicks. <laughs> I put fur on the dashboard and a picture of Debbie Harry in the middle of the steering wheel. Who's that? <laughs> oh, sorry. It's like JLS, only much more talented and better looking. Okay. Actually, I don't know what JLS is. Do you know what JLS is? So. No. Does anyone here know what JLS is? Jack the Lad Swing. What? Jack the Lad Swing. See, I would have thought you'd have known that. Too busy. Perhaps you've gone deaf with all your motor. Is it loud? With all the hoff in the park. <laughs> is it loud in those cars? Yes. Is it? Yeah, it is. Can you actually hear it if you've got ear things in? Yeah, I have, and I do have actually some padding around as well, because otherwise it's quite loud. And what people don't know, um, to optimise our shifts, you know, the point when you upshift, I had a couple of, in my lap early on, oh, in our I car. had a couple of misshifts, because it's manual, you know, it's much easier with our pedal shift. But we have to, to, you know, to get the timing right, every shift we get a beep. Oh, to tell you to change gear? Yeah. Yeah, so you're not relying on the lights and only the feeling, you also have the beep. Can I just ask, before so we get onto the lap? Beep, beep. Have you, well, it does that? Yeah, <laughs> on top of the engine noise, obviously. That would drive me up the wall. Yeah, but you get, you get used to it. I wouldn't, I'd just go, I'd just rip somebody's ears off for doing that. <laughs> Beeping. It's like those cars that bong when you open the door to remind you you've opened that. the door. I hate that, I hate that as well. I know I've opened the door, I just did it! 